In this video, uh, I'm going to continue working on the subway scene. And I'm going to model a coffee cup and I'm going to model a wrench, a sort of a sci fi wrench, my version. All right, so here we go. I'm going to come into the floor and I'm going to select that tile and Shift S cursor to select it, the bring a 3D cursor right to there so I can uh, build my coffee cup sort of relative to this to this model here. I'm going to bring in a cylinder. I'm going to go for 16 vertices. And let's scale it down right off the bat. And get it to the approximate size that I would want this thing to be. Obviously there are different sizes of coffee cups. so Okay, so with that done, uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, E and Alt S and I'm going to push to give it some thickness here just like that I think I'm going to scale it a bit taller than that okay control R to bring an edge to up near the top will make that lip there and one down there at the bottom about half the size of half the height of this one go to uh, three face selection shift alt and click right there E and alt s I'm going to push to push that out and uh, this one E and Alt S and I'm going to pull this one in and that's going to require me to get rid of some faces here select those and get rid of them and select those and get rid of them so I'll have this okay now what I'll be doing is putting on here simple to form I'm going to choose Z and taper and I'll get the slight curvature that I want for now I'm going to hide that and go control one we'll try just one subdivision and now we'll come back in and the first thing I'll do I think is an edge selection I'll select this edge and this edge we'll come down here we'll select that edge and we'll try shift E pull to sharpen those up and see how much that helps not too much yet so we'll bring in an edge loop here and we'll bring an edge loop here and we'll bring an edge loop down here and see if that's enough for what we need to do let's put on the uh, taper again and I think we need to do some more work on this do that kind of thing take the whole thing and scale shift Z just to get the shape a little bit better and we have a coffee cup I hope that's a reasonable size I'll select it and shift H and have a look at the polys not too bad less than my usual all right so there is our coffee cup of course we want to have a look at the whole scene like this turn that off for now and we'll have a couple of those sitting around here and there oh, I might as well take one right now shift D we're gonna bring it over to this working area here this guy's gonna need a coffee let's put it up on top of this Okay, get back to work, buddy. We're going to do another tool here. I'm going to select this Shift S cursor selected. No, I'm going to select uh, right here. I'm going to build my wrench right there. Okay, so now I think I will um, go ahead and build this. Let's hide that from the top. So this is going to be a different uh, kind of a wrench. Um, it's going to be able to um, grip anything. It's going to be a relatively circular top. You'll see what I mean. And um, so, so I can build it really, really simply. All right, it's a very simple sci-fi wrench like this. Shift A, mesh, circle, 12 vertices. 
scale it a bit and then we'll rescale it after number one for for text selection take let's see uh, I think this these three shift D scale it in move it up like that and then all we're gonna do is grab these and F to make face I'm just selecting these and pressing F just like that grab these three here E to extrude send them down let's take the whole thing and lift it up okay we'll come down a ways I'm going to select these here shift s cursor selected shift a circle bring that same circle in but I'm going to scale it down now like this scale it up a bit more and bring it a bit closer and this and this we're going to join this and this this and this I have to join shift alt and click that but deselect these and then go um, E and S scale that in like this okay so this is what we've got let's take this and shift H okay shift H in object mode I guess and now we're gonna fill in the rest so press 2 for edge selection and shift and select those and these we'll do that and we'll come up here and select a bunch of these. I actually select this one and this one, F, this one, F, F. Oh, you're not gonna make it, okay, fair enough. All right. Okay, so we got that. Now this is a little bit big here, that's okay. We'll go with that. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna scale Y zero, straighten it out push it back down let me bring another one up here I'm not gonna worry about straightening that one though okay let's take the whole thing and look from the side and give it some thickness extrude and bring it up I'm gonna select the whole thing alt n recalculate outside just in case I had to and I'm in face selection shift alt to click there and that gets the top and the bottom shift alt and click there and there Right. and let's go uh, E and uh, uh, scale in the Z now to uh, raise and lower that part there let's go control 2 and this is what we have All right. let's shade smooth and let's come in and let's maybe make it a little thinner scale in the Z the whole thing we will put an edge loop there and control B and we'll separate it out like that. Let's see what else we want to do on this guy here. I'm going to do something up here in just a moment. Before we do that, let's take, let's say, let's bring one more edge loop in here and scale Y0 to straighten it. And then we can take these ones here. And I won't do the bottom. An inset like that. And then I'm going to inset. I'll inset again for extra security. And come down a little bit. Put an edge loop there and control B. Pull it out. I don't want it too, too tight. I might go like that and put some text in there. And the other thing I want to do here. So now. I'm going to grab these faces. Okay, I'm going to press I to inset. E and Alt S and push out. Like that. And apply subdivision surface. And I have some grippable teeth here. I can alt S more if I want. And I think I do. And that is what's going to allow it to grab any surface. You can clip it onto your belt here. 
don't think I'm going to throw a lot more edge loops in there. And uh, I would probably put a decal on there, but we could just throw some text on just for the fun of it. Shift S, cursor to select it, and bring in text. Rotate it around. probably actually get rid of that and just leave it like that for now so now we got a screwdriver and we've got a wrench in there one just to check things out and to have a look in that kind of fanciful way God, that coffee cup I thought it was floating for a second there okay all right we need a few more uh, big ticket items I want to do some work up here and I'm thinking about some kind of uh, benches slash tables in this area to put a few tools on and uh, maybe that sci-fi or retro fan so I do have some more items to model for sure um, I'm going to do that in just a bit doesn't have to stay there among everything else but we'll figure out placement of things as we get a few more items uh, in here cool all right thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again soon